This is cataractcoach.com. This is a routine case. We're going to fast forward through most of it. Here's the nice incision at the beginning of the case, a single plane made of the steel keratome that has beautiful architecture. That's just about perfect. And the capsule rex is next, but what I want to really focus on in this video is the IOL delivery. If we do this correctly and load the lens appropriately, we should be able to have a very slow and controlled, precise delivery of the IOL into the capsule bag. This is the safest for the patient. It's the easiest for the surgeon because it's very well controlled. And this is how it's actually intended. The companies have spent a lot of time uh, perfecting their techniques and their devices and it's really important to follow the recommendations to get the optimal delivery of the IOL. Let's look at this case again. Doing some hydro dissection here. We saw a good caps rex is being performed. This patient has a nice bright red reflex. The lens rotates now. That looks great. And we'll do, a, do our usual phaco chop technique. So a little more dispersive viscoelastic to protect the corneal endothelium. And we're going to put the phaco probe in the eye. Here comes a phaco probe. We've got our chopper in our left hand, and we'll chop this nucleus a couple times, and then just remove the pieces quite easily. So buzz into the nucleus. Here comes our chopper. And bring the instruments together and apart, and really separate the halves. That looks great. And now let's rotate the nucleus, and we can chop it more. So let's fast forward now to the end of the case. Here's where we're filling the capsular bag now with our cohesive viscoelastic. There's the capsular rexus. And here comes the lens. This has been loaded by my expert technician. And so look how slow and controlled we can deliver this. This video is shown in real time. And I want to go slowly, very controlled. Look at the envelope of viscoelastic around the IOL. And there it goes, exactly where I want it, the leading haptic and optic edge under the nasal capsular axis. And now using the chopper to make sure the entire lens goes in the capsular bag. Prior to the haptics opening, let's rotate the lens into a preferred position. That looks great. And then assist that second haptic to open. And you can see it looks fantastic. There's a good overlap of the optic by the capsular axis. So remove our viscoelastic and finish the case here. So I want to show you, we've, we've had many videos of misloaded IOLs and issues with that. This is how it should be. Beautifully loaded, and then we have a very controlled and precise delivery of the lens, and that's the best.